Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to insert text overlays and custom backgrounds into Google Meet. Back in May, I uploaded a video that showed you how to use pre-made lenses and backgrounds in your Google Meet using Snap Camera. That video has over 240,000 views, and I got so many comments from people asking me how they can use custom backgrounds. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to create your own custom backgrounds using either pictures, videos, how to do text overlays, all using a free software called OBS. So to use OBS, which is a free and safe program to use, go to obsproject.com. And this is actually the software that many YouTubers use when they're creating their videos or they're doing their live streams. And then you can click to download. So I have Windows, so I'll click on Windows and that will begin downloading. I saved mine to my desktop, but you can save it wherever you want. And then it shows up here at the bottom, so I'm gonna click on this to install. Now you will have to do this the first time you set it up, but it only takes a couple minutes to get everything started. So we'll click next, and then you can read through the license information, and then install. And now we'll click finish, and we do have it checked so that it will launch OBS upon finishing. So the first time you set it up, it asks you a few different questions. So you can say that you'll only be using the virtual camera if you only plan on using this for your Google Meets. If you do plan on streaming or using this to record videos, you can select those. For our purposes, I'm gonna say we, I will only be using the virtual camera. And then you can look to see the settings. I'm gonna apply these because they look good. So this is what our OBS screen looks like. Now it may look a little intimidating at first, and there are a lot of different things you can do, but I'm gonna show you the very easy way to be able to create your own custom backgrounds. So the first thing you have to do is go to sources, click on the plus sign, and you're gonna to have to find your video capture device. It's so right here at the bottom, click video capture device, and then you're gonna create a new one and click okay. And then you'll see a picture of yourself now again, I'm using two computers, one to record and one to demonstrate on, so uh, it, the audio might be a little off from my lips, but uh, this is my webcam, and if you don't see your webcam right away, you can click through here, um, but it should just pop up right away. But again, you can decide what device you're gonna use. We'll click OK, and then you see that it puts your webcam here, and you can stretch this out to fill your screen, or you can make it smaller. Right now, it doesn't really matter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna now click on the plus again. And now we're gonna decide what we want for a background. Um, so you can go through on Google or lots of different websites, find a picture or a video that you wanna use as your background. Uh, I've already gone ahead and prepared some videos that I think are pretty cool. So I'm gonna insert media source, click okay. And then I'm going to select uh, from a local file. So I'm going to browse. And these are just a couple backgrounds that I found that I thought looked pretty neat and would be interesting for students. Uh, so like we just had election day. So let's do the American flag waving in the background. And uh, it's important that if you have a video that is going to play over and over that you select loop. And then click OK. And you'll see that now I've got the flag waving in the uh, front. So down here with sources, you can decide what layer is on top by just clicking and dragging. You can also click on these arrows here. So with media source selected, I can move it to the front or move it backwards. Now you can see the flag in the background and you can see myself in the front, but you can see I still got the green screen. So it's very easy to chroma key out a solid background. It doesn't necessarily have to be a green screen. You could have a, a blue screen, uh, any solid color behind you. You just kind of want to make sure that the color behind you that you're going to eliminate doesn't really appear anywhere on your clothing uh, because it will just take out that color regardless of where it is. So let's go to our video capture device. We're going to right click, go down to filters. Now, sometimes when I open up this screen, uh, I don't see the plus sign that I need to add a filter. So you may have to play around with moving the screen around by either making it bigger or smaller so that you can see this plus so that you can add effect filters. Then all you have to do is click on the plus sign. 
go to chroma key, and you can call it chroma key is fine, and you'll notice that the background becomes black, and you can play around with these sliders to try to get it so that the background is as dark as you can without taking away your, you know, your own face or your own body. And so that looks pretty good. You can kind of play around with how smooth it looks. And again, just kind of play with the filters, see what works. And it does have some custom settings. So if you do have a blue background or magenta, or you can do custom, we're just gonna keep it a green because I got the green screen. And that looks pretty good. Again, it's best if you've got some light coming in, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we'll close. And now you can see me with the American flag behind me. And again, it's not perfect. It's a little grainy, but um, you can go through and change the sliders at any point. So now, now that I've got myself here, and again, you can take yourself now and you can make yourself bigger, smaller. You can kind of play around with those settings. Now, it's really important before you go into your Google Meet, that over on the side here, you select Start Virtual Camera. When you select Start Virtual Camera, that will let OBS become your actual camera. So now when I go into my Google Meet, it'll say that the camera failed because what it's gonna do in the settings, so if you click on the three dots and then go to settings, is in video, it's gonna try to use HP True Vision Camera, which is my webcam. Now yours may, default to OBS virtual camera. And if it does, you'll see yourself right away. If not, you will have to go through and select that. So select OBS virtual camera. And now you'll see right away in Google Meet, there's me with the background. I can click join now. So now you'll see in my Google Meet, I've got my webcam, I've got my background, and any changes I make will be made in real time. So if I go back into OBS, and I go into media source, I can change this. And you know, I could pick something fun like a movie review set, click okay. And now in OBS, it will change my background. So you can get really creative with this, especially, you know, we've got like the holidays coming. You could have some kind of Christmassy thing with snow. And so you'll notice that when I did this, it made it a little bit smaller, but you can just click on the corner and that will change. And then you can see when I go back to OBS, I've got the snow falling in the background. One other thing I'll show you is you can also insert text. So if you click on the plus, then go to text, click create new, and you can type down here in text. I can say happy holidays and you can change what type of font you want. I'll just pick uh, anything for right now. You can change the size, the font style. You can underline. There's all different types of writing systems. Uh, we'll just click this for now. And we'll select OK. And you'll see at the top it says Happy Holidays. And you can always go through and change the color. So if you wanted it to stand out more, you know, I can make it red. And you notice that it kind of comes off the screen. So I can just push it back here. And when I go back into my Google Meet, and then you'll see in my Google Meet, uh, the text above me, it does look backwards for you, but to everybody else in your Meet, it will appear forward and they'll actually be able to read it. And I'll just show you one last thing because if you decide that you want an actual image, so now I just did a quick Google search for new studio and we'll just select this image here. All you have to do is right click, save image as and save. And again, you do want to just notice and make sure that the resolution is high enough so that it's not too blurry. Then we'll come back into OBS, select the plus sign. You'll select image, create new. We'll browse. We'll select our new studio, click open and then okay. And then we'll make this big. And again, we'll send it to the back in a second. We'll click on the, the little down arrows there. And now it looks like I'm in the news studio. And if you want to get rid of the text, you can just click on the text and press delete. And it'll say, do you wish to remove it? You can say yes. Or, you know, at any point you can just click on the little eye to hide it. So you can hide yourself or you can put yourself back in. 
Now, there are some other advanced features in OBS, but we won't get into them in this video. Today, I just want to show you how you can create a custom background that you can use um, either in your Google Meets, in Zooms, really in anything that you use your webcam for. And this can be used by students, by teachers, uh, by anyone, whether you are the host of the meeting or just a participant. So it's a really fun option to bring a lot of life to your virtual meetings. So needless to say, I am a huge fan of using OBS in your Google Meets. A lot of people ask me how I get this background, and you can do a very similar effect using OBS right in your Google Meet. And it's just a great way to bring some life to your virtual meetings because kids will really be excited to see like what you're using as their background. And it might even get them excited to come to your class to see what's today's background gonna be or to be able to have the uh, opportunity to create custom messages as you're teaching. Uh, it's just really engaging for the kids. So if you're using OBS, please let me know in the comments below uh, what the response has been, how the students have responded, their parents, your colleagues, because I think it's a really, really great opportunity to do something fresh and original that a lot of people aren't really doing in their classrooms and kids won't be expecting. Uh, if you need help setting this up, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below or reach out to me on Twitter at Dan Spada or on Facebook at facebook.com slash the ed tech show. And if you know of any teachers that could benefit from using this, please feel free to share this video and this channel with them as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the ed tech show, please take a second, click on the subscribe button and then click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.